who is Turkish probably will claim to be Imam al -Mahdi. I understand there's somebody already in Turkey claiming to be Imam al -Mahdi. But if you look at the Turkish government, the present Turkish government, you can see the pattern, the pattern, that they didn't come to power by accident. Oh no! There was a plan and a design all the way from the United States to bring this party to power in Turkey and to get this party to take control of the Turkish military, something we consider to be an impossible. Hmm? And there are many Turkish generals in jail now. <laughs> and this government in Turkey fooled me because, you know, we accept someone at face value. If you say you are a Muslim, we say you accept it and you preaching Islam, we accept you until we get evidence to the contrary. So I'm not sorry that I made a mistake. No, I'm glad. But when they did what they did in Libya, then I saw the true face of the Turkish government. That they were not in NATO only to protect themselves from Russia. Oh no! They were up to their neck serving NATO interests, serving Zionist interests with what they did in Libya. To intervene in Libya, to send weapons and send men into Libya, to overthrow the government in a shameless bloody act. Shameless bloody act. Ramadan, shall I remind you? It was Ramadan. The people had fasted all day long and you evil people, you followers of shaitan who say you are waging a jihad, eh no jihad, a Yankee jihad. You choose that moment when the people are breaking their fast to infiltrate your people into Tripoli and then start shooting wildly and you kill 1200 people to sow panic in Tripoli? People who have just fasted for the whole day, don't you have any shame? And then the British Prime Minister and the French Prime Minister land in Libya to show their support for the new Libyan regime and guess who came after them? Yes, shamefully so. I'm telling you to your face, Mr. Prime Minister, shamefully so, the Turkish Prime Minister. So then we got the true face of this Turkish government. And what they're doing now in Syria only confirms what we suspected. If a new Khilafah is to be established in Constantinople, and someone is to claim to be Imam al-Mahdi and so on, then Turkey has to expand. Turkey has to take over Syria and drive Russia out. The Russian naval base in Syria. Hmm? Turkey, they don't want you in the European Union. You can't get in the European Union. No, they don't want you. Well then, what else? Answer? If we can't get into the European Union, then what we're going to do is become the new Khilafah. And so the Turkish Union now, Turkey expands and Turkey becomes the power in the world of Islam. Turkey already has the most powerful military force in the whole world of Islam. The most powerful military force is the Turkish Armed Forces. And so the Western world, the Zionist world will use this new Khilafah that is coming. This bogus Khilafah that is coming. As bogus as the Shia Imam al-Mahdi who is coming. Don't be annoyed with me because this is coming. And they will use this new Ottoman Caliphate to get the world of Islam to again bow down to this Khalifa. <laughs> Not me. And they will use this Caliphate to again attack Eastern Europe, Rome, and try to contain Russia. 
بل آخر الزمن 